So welcome everybody to this beautiful Guru Purnima Day video. And you know, uh, we are here to appreciate the greatest of teachers and gurus in our life who have changed our life, who have literally given us wisdom, the most valuable thing. There's no price on that. Okay. And this is regarding the post that I made on YouTube post that what video you want me to make today. And one of the people were saying, can you make a video on if we are lost in our life, how to come back on track? What are some of the things we can do through astrological chart, through planets to bring a life on, back on track? So instead of telling you something about alignments, planet here, planet there, I don't want to do that. I want to make it more simpler. Instead of me telling you, buy this, buy that, put this here, put that there, I don't want to do that. I want to make it even more simpler. It's going to be zero cost for you to see a change. Now, before we get into that, why is it that you should be listening to me? That's the first thing. If somebody's, and this is something, this is exactly the example I gave in my first lesson of my wristwatch course, which actually the free version of that is available. You can watch it. Uh, on the academy, I'm like, if you're going to somebody to learn about marriage, like, okay, it's a marriage workshop to have a long lasting, beautiful marriage. And the person who's talking has been divorced four times. Their current fourth divorce is currently in the court proceedings. And here they're telling you about how to have a beautiful married life or somebody telling you about beautiful married life and they're single. Apparently they just read a lot of books. So you're not getting that experience. Same way, you have all seen me in the last 14 years coming from a small little room. Okay, literally it was a 10 by 10 room. Me and my buddy, my best friend, dog, Yash, were there making videos on a webcam. Okay, where literally I was piss poor at that time. I had to borrow money from my friend to put gas in my car. To now here, in this point of life where now I have my house. So that means I have seen certain things. I have done certain things, learned certain things. And this is something I didn't even learn through Vedic knowledge or Vedic values or through the Indian culture. This is something actually I learned through Jewish culture. Back in 2010, I went to this one seminar, something in a, a synagogue, because I read a book by somebody. I don't want to say the author's name here, but it was about the names of gods. And it was just fascinating how each god had a meaning. So when I went there, they were talking about these things. They're like, forget about doing these sometimes impractical things to get wealth. Sometimes you can do the simplest things to get wealth, which is to get rid of things. Because see here, I don't want to tell you about putting something on the wall, putting something at the door, or buying something for something, or talking about planning real minds. I want to show you how to eliminate things to bring success. So number one thing, the number one thing, I don't know if there's going to be four or five, so the first thing that you should do is never have stopped clocks and watches in your home. And I know you must have heard this. Even back in like 2014, 15, Lal Kitab astrologers would talk about it. Band Ghadiya and this and that. But the thing is that is extremely, extremely important. You don't realize if you're clock is stopped batteries out and you're just like ignoring it like i don't have time because it's so up high you don't want to get the ladder you don't want to get up and get the clock out put the change the battery in the back but that is something that is blocking your achievements the interview call that you're not getting when you go to the interview the call back on the second interview or the job offer that you're not getting will have something to do with the clock that is up there not working or is behind or, or it's forward <clears throat> For example, I've made these mistakes. This is why I'm able to now teach you guys. Our clock 
in one of our homes was on the side. And because of the, you know, the change in the daylight savings, you go one hour back or one hour forward in U.S. And I'm like, I already have my cell phone. I already have my watch. Okay, fine. I'll, uh, you, you can be wrong for half a year. You know, I'll know exactly what time it is. I'll just push it back one hour. But that was causing tremendous amount of stress and anxiety. But the moment I changed the time, even changed the battery because the clock was just stopped. And that's when I knew, okay, the clock is stopped. Let me just change it. Within a week, whatever issue and anxiety that I was dealing with, gone. So that's the first thing. Also, obviously, you want to put the clock in the right direction. The best directions for clock is north or west. Because west is connected with Pushan, the one who's a fulfiller of desires. And west is what? Gains, profits, and desires. So when the clock is there moving, it's moving that particular direction. It says, hey, you have been sleeping for a while while the members in this household are not going anywhere. Come on, wake up, let's go. What do we use clocks for? To wake up, alarm. So the wall, when you put it there, that energy begins to move. Because the, when the clock moves, this is how our chakras move. Chakras are moving in that same clock way. So it starts to move, give churning to that particular area. And then you will see, oh, suddenly I'm getting some offer because I sent the resume four months ago. They want to talk to me. Wow. Or whatever health issue or something that was happening or you were single, suddenly you're getting the opportunity to go out on a date. And of course, you want to have the right clocks. A clock should be as simple as possible. Nothing like crazy design and all of those things. Okay, and it should be on the wall. Either north, north can be blue color, west can be gray color, white color. Okay. So fix the clocks, including wristwatches. A lot of people have so many, like, it's funny. Just right after the course was complete, I started getting emails from students. Within two days, things are happening. Within three days, they're getting callbacks for the job because they got the right wristwatch. So I'm like, okay, I wanna make a database on it now. Well, I'm, I pretty much sent the message out to all everybody, whoever's getting the watch, whoever's doing this, let me know anytime what's happening within a week or two weeks span, you know, how things are happening. So when those wristwatches, if they're quartz and they're not working, just throw them away. Or if they're decent enough watches, put batteries on them, keep them moving. If let's say you have an automatic, uh, you know, um, self-winding watch, put it in a watch winder. It's like $20 on Amazon, $29. And have it just wind the watch. It'll keep winding it. So if you're forgetting about it, you wind that. You will see a change. Number two, very, very important. Don't ever ignore any broken, cracked glasses. Meaning not just like glasses that you drink from. Of course, when they're cracked, we throw them away. I'm talking about you're using your cell phone and oh, there's this big, long scratch and you're just like using your phone, smartphone all day. Because that is putting crack in Venus. Glass of any kind, even plexiglass is going to be Venus. Anything reflective, shiny is going to be Venus. And smartphones, cell phones are even more important and a great part of us than anything else. Because anywhere you go, you have your phone with you. You may not have your wristwatch with you. You may not be wearing some gemstone or something. You may have forgotten it. But your phone is always going to be there with you. So phone is now becoming part of who you are and your consciousness and your aura and your energy around you. So if your phone has a crack, TV has a crack, but you're just watching because it's cracked. I'd rather not have you watch that TV and you get rid of that TV and you save money and get a new TV later on. All these things, once you fix those, when you see anything like that, like a clock has a crack, but you're just ignoring it. Your time has a crack in it. 
change that right away. Any form of like glass, any form of like computer screen, tablets, smartphones. Okay. You want to either fix them. And if you can get rid of them, you will see a shift. Of course, you can't throw your smartphone away. You're going to have to fix it. And next time you put a protective cover, you put, you know, the scratch resistance cover on it. You use a fold cover if you're clumsy and it just always falls from your pocket. Do that. Number three, old shoes, especially ripped shoes. I know people personally who will keep wearing shoes for 14 years until they can no longer fix it. I know it currently. And that is the biggest hurdle in your career. Because shoes are shiny, Saturn. And if they're like highly prized shoes, then it's Venus and Saturn. So money and career. When you keep wearing old shoes that you know they're looking old, but oh, well, I want to save money and I want to be those frugal people. That frugality is bringing poverty. Any old shoe that you do not wear, throw them out. Get rid of them. And you don't want to give it to somebody because now you're now that you know this knowledge and then you give it to someone, now you're having that person deal with that bad situation. That's the thing with this. You let go of it, get yourself decent shoes. Buy new shoes, buy decent shoes. And even if after six months they get old, get another one. So throw out shoes. Because again, the Shani's energy is being disturbed. Work your respect. I remember this dialogue from the movie Hum. Where uh, Qadir Khan was saying, you can see the reputation of a person from their shoe. And Amitabh Bachchan was wearing like this really bad shoe because it was just a costume on top of a police person. And that kind of like stuck in my head. But these are the things you have to do in order to bring better profession, better energy related to when you walk out the door and you're dealing with the world. Would be very simple. You must have heard it a thousand times. Clutter. Junk. Especially when I was, uh, I did it for two months and it was just too much for me to, uh, too much information for me to look for a reading because I was doing like Vastu reading only. I'm like, send me the video of your home, send me the pictures of each direction. And, and I realized, I'm like, no, I need to be there. It's just too much work on my end. So I just stopped that reading. But I saw when people in India especially had like rooftops and stuff on the rooftop, I'm like, that's like, that's like your, um, that's the, that's the space area. And roof also is Rahu. Rahu is becoming bad. Wrist watches, Rahu becomes bad. Clocks, Rahu is becoming bad. Saturn becomes bad. And Rahu is your ambition. When the clock is there and let's say you got rejected from five jobs, that ambition goes down. But if the clock was running, the roof was clean, you'd be like, I'll go through 200 rejections. I'm still motivated. So especially like if you're in such a construction of a home where you have a roof and you have a water tank on the roof and then around that it's like all these old bikes and wires and especially steel wires just sitting there. You can wear as many gemstones as you want, flow things in the water, donate things in the temple, nothing will happen. And if you see me, I, I don't have any gemstones, nothing. This is the only, this is the only live Vastu on my wrist that I do is a wristwatch. Simple as that. So follow these things. You don't need to know about planets. You don't need to know about your birth chart. And you don't need to buy anything. You simply need to correct these things. And you see the change within a week, you will see a change. Because I've, whenever I've said this to people and they have done it, those who have actually done it have seen the change. So, thank you again. Thank you to our ancestors on this uh, Guru Purnama day. Um, blessings to everybody. Okay. And hopefully, 
I see some comments on this video after the fact you have done these corrections and when you see the changes you show me you know what what's happening and also like I said don't have clocks in the south east is where sun rises from you don't want to put sun in charge of the time sun has given that duty to Saturn so this is why you put it at the proper place in west and of course north which is opportunities so opportunities become active they're 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 moving opportunities in 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 flow it's fluid okay and of course if you're new to my channel subscribe below if you want to know anything about consultations books reports my academy go to karisastrology.com otherwise uh namaste alvida oh kabhi alvida na kehna i know <laughs>